Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be attempting to do the viral low contrast high contrast like finding your contrast makeup this thing went viral on tiktok like everyone's finding their contrast levels and then doing their makeup accordingly apparently it's meant to enhance your features and make you look the best you can look with your makeup so i really want to try it so i've done the filter and i'll show you here that i did i looked at the medium and the low contrast on my skin and i think the low contrast makes the most sense I think the only thing that tipped me off towards medium was my eyes are quite dark but I have light features everywhere else like my eyebrows are light, my eyelashes, my hair so I'm going for a low contrast. We're going to attempt to do a low contrast makeup look today. So I found some inspiration photos so I'll show you a few on the screen now so you can kind of see what I'm going for. I've chosen some celebs that do makeup in light contrast. I've done like a little bit of research to see like what celebrities do low contrast and medium to kind of compare and I still think I'm low contrast so we'll go with that most of the time I think I do more of a medium contrast makeup look I feel like I really like darken up my features especially my eyebrows and my like lashes and stuff but I think the low contrast is gonna look better on me the pictures I showed I'm gonna kind of combine them and try and do like a lighter brow like a softer blush a softer contour things like that and see how it looks without further ado let's dive straight in and start my makeup i'm just going to moisturize my face first with the same clinique moist surge i did recently go up north so i have a little bit of a tan as you can probably see so i'm hoping my foundation still suits me i think so i don't think i'm going to be any darker than i usually am which foundation I think we're gonna, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go with the Laura Mercier in Silk. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. We're gonna try this one. I haven't used this one in a while because it clashed with um, one of my uh, sunscreens that I was wearing. So I stopped using it for a while, but let's try her again. Give her a second chance. A, yeah, a second chance, I'll say. Cause I do love this foundation. Okay, foundation is on. It does look super pale, but we're going to ignore that and continue on. Next, I'm gonna do my blush because blush is always where I go a little bit wrong. So I wanna do more of a softer blush. I don't wanna do something too dark like I usually do. Mm. All my blush is super dark. I think my softest will be Rare Beauty Blush in the color Happy. I don't know why the bottle has like stripes in it, like two different colors. It might have separated a little bit, but it still works fine. I'm going to put the blush on my hand to try and minimize the amount I use. Let's go in with a little bit. Oh. Oh gosh, I forgot how pigmented this blush is, for God's sake. It's fine, it's fine, we can do this, it's fine. Oh, it's fine, it's not, it's not. It, mm. Okay, I think that's enough blush, because we don't want to go too intense. I have so much still on my hand. What a waste. We're going to do my eyebrows, but I don't have a light colour to do my eyebrows with, so we're going to use my Huda Beauty palette. We're going to use one of the shades in here. First, I have to wet my brush with a little bit of setting spray. And we're going to go in with Musk, because that is a softer color. All right, we'll see. We'll see if this is completely terrible. OK, it's not very soft. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it doesn't look like you. So let's try and get this eyebrow to work. Okay, I think it's the best I'm gonna get with my eyebrows being softer. They still look kind of dark, but I don't know what else I can do. Okay, we're gonna use some. Okay, I just used the Hourglass Arc Brow Gel just to kind of fluff them up, make them look a little bit more natural. Now I'm going to set my foundation with the same Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm just gonna set 
under my eyes. Now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer, which is something I don't normally do. But we're gonna do it for the sake of this low contrast makeup. So the only bronzer I have is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I'm gonna do a really light dusting. Oh, oh. There's blush in my ear. I genuinely don't know if that made a difference at all, but I did it. I am gonna apply a little bit of blush. We're going to use the Judy Doll Dual Color Combination Blush, and we are going to use, there's two colors in here. I don't know the names of them, but we're gonna use the lighter one. So the very soft pink one. Perfect. Cute. We are going to do a little bit of highlighter. We're going to go in with the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and OG. If you know, you know. This was the highlighter. Just a very subtle amount of highlighter, like it's not too much. I'm going to add a bit more though. Okay, next we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow. We're going to use the Dior Backstage Palette. I'm going to go in with only a very light dusting of this little colour here which is Orange Shimmer. It doesn't shimmer at all but it's pretty. Oh goodness. Big old crease. I am then going to go in with bronze highlighter, which is this color here. And that's just gonna go in the corner of my eyes, just like this. To the eyes, I'm not gonna do any eyeliner because I always do eyeliner. So I'm gonna do just a very subtle bit of mascara. It's gonna curl my lashes. And then we're gonna use a little tester. We're gonna use a tester of the Laura Mercier Caviar Extravagant Mascara. Look at this brush. She is thick. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. It's very subtle. That's actually a really nice mascara. I really, I really like it. I like the wand. What do I do next? Going in with the Glossier. What is this? Hydrating Shine. I don't know what this product is called, but it's in the color Lucite. So we're gonna put this on apparently without a mirror. This is such a soft, hydrating product. I really enjoy it. It's really, really nice. I love it. And it adds just a little bit extra to the look, not making it like too much or too heavy, just quite light still. Last step, obviously, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush setting spray. This is the final look for today. I think it looks really nice. What do you guys think? I always kind of do something like this. I just add some eyeliner and a lot more blush. I normally have like 10 times more blush than this on my face and I never wear bronze up. <laughs> but I think it looks really pretty. I think it's really nice and summery. I think it'll be a great look for summer actually which is coming up, so that's perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed me trying out this low contrast look. And I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye.